welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is that time again for our monthly group collab hosted by my good friend Melissa over at I'm Merely Melissa and myself. We have such an amazing group of YouTubers as always joining us today. It's always the first Sunday of every month. We have one more month after this one. It's so crazy. It's been a whole year almost. We've been doing these monthly group collabs with all of our amazing YouTube friends. But today we are doing Thanksgiving dishes, whether it's a Thanksgiving side, Thanksgiving appetizer, Thanksgiving dessert, whatever you make for your family on Thanksgiving, whether it's to take to a big family event, Friendsgiving, just your own intimate family. We are gonna bring it here with all the videos Link down below, as always, check my description box. You will see the playlist link, click on that. It'll take you to all the videos. Go subscribe to everyone if you're not already. I'm sure you probably are because you probably love them just as much as I do. You'll also see Melissa's channel since she's my co-host and check everybody out. Tell them I sent you by. If you're new here, I would love for you to click that subscribe button and Cheer me on, give me motivation, give me motivation to keep producing these videos for you guys. Let me know you're out there even watching. You know, it takes a lot to be a YouTuber. It takes, you know, time away from your family to edit video, all the things. There's a lot that goes down into it, coming up with ideas, creative ideas that you might even be interested in watching. Let me know what you want to see. Do you want to see more house cleaning? Do you want to see more easy recipes because that's all I'm about is some easy recipes. You know, um, day in the life, what are you guys interested in in my channel? I know a few months ago I told you we moved into a new house and I have been trying to give you a home tour video. I just haven't, uh, I, we're, we're still unboxing. We're still trying to move in. We're trying to get comfortable here. And probably I would think around Christmas, I'm gonna give you that home tour video to show you all of my Christmas decor as I'm decorating this new house. I'm so excited for that. I'm Christmas tree shopping right now. Anyways, let me quit rambling before you click unsubscribe and get this video started. So today I am making asparagus casserole. This is something I've never even heard of until I married my husband. His side of the family have this every Thanksgiving and every Christmas. And it's actually really good. I was like, oh, oh my, when I saw that on the counter and they said, oh, it's asparagus casserole. But I love it. Like, I, it's one of my new favorites. Well, 10 years ago. But I, like I said, I've never had it in any of my family dinners. So I don't know if you guys have heard it or not, heard of it or not. Let me know in the comments below. But let's get started. Mm -hmm. for asparagus casserole you just need some type of baking dish that you can put in the oven I personally love this one because it has a lid I can put it in the oven I can throw the lid on and I can take it to our family functions but you need to grease that and of course I've sabotaged myself I'm out of spray so let's do it the old-fashioned way Okay, so first we are going to toast two slices of bread, whatever kind of bread you prefer, and just go ahead and get those toasted because that's gonna be our base layer. Okay, so make sure your oven is preheating at 350, and then you're just gonna slice up your bread, just break it up. We're just gonna do a layer of toast. Go ahead and get two more going. And just lay those down and that's gonna be your base layer. Then we're gonna get out our asparagus, make sure it's drained. I just got a regular can of asparagus spears. I drained it and I'm gonna cut those up. I'm 
I'm sure you could do like frozen or raw, but this is just easy grab and go recipe. And just do a whole layer there. So you're gonna need two cans of asparagus. Okay, next up are pimentos. If you've ever had pimento cheese, then you know as a Southern girl what this is. Hold please while I go get my husband. Okay, now that I have the muscles of the family, I'm gonna add just a few of these, sprinkle them around, and I sprinkle. Next, I need four hard boiled eggs all together, but we're going to do two in a layer. All right, next, you can leave this out. My family does not do this as far as my mother-in-law's. Uh, what is wrong with me today? Why am I such a weak little woman? Oh. Okay, so my mother-in-law does not add mushrooms to her recipe, but as I was shopping for the ingredients, I thought it sounded really good and thought we would just try it this time just to see, but you do not have to add mushrooms because I know mushrooms are either love or hate. But I'm just going to add a few to see how, how it goes. All right. For the top of the layer, you need cheddar cheese soup or you can make your own cheese soup. My mother-in-law makes hers with milk, cornstarch, and cheese. But I'm a lazy mama too. So we're going the easy route. All right. So I feel like it's going to be too thick just out, straight out of the can. So I'm going to put it in a bowl and mix some milk in with it just to kind of thin it out a little bit. But again, this is just cheddar cheese soup on the soup aisle with all the Campbell's canned soups. Just gonna mix it up a little bit and then I'm gonna warm it up in the microwave. It would probably be way better on the stove top, but I am pressed for time today. So let's just see how it goes. I warmed that up just on 30 seconds just to see, and that's looking so much better. All right, I'm gonna layer some of this on there. Okay, now we repeat the process. Bread, asparagus, pimentas, eggs, some mushrooms if you want, and then top it off with the soup. Okay, so here is your 1980s asparagus casserole. I'm gonna throw it in the oven for 350 degrees just until it's warm and bubbly. So probably like 15 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today with my 1980s asparagus casserole inspired by my husband's family. I hope you click that link below in my description box. Check out that playlist. There's going to be so many videos with all your ideas that you need for all of the holiday dinners that I'm sure you'll be invited to this holiday season, whether it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever. 
we got you covered. Check out my amazing co-host down in the description box as well, Melissa at I'm Merely Melissa. I know you've already heard of her. And if you haven't already, I know I've already asked you, click that subscribe button, please. That helps my channel so much. Let me know in the comments that you stopped by. And I can't wait to see you guys all next time. Bye, y'all.